We coexist in the same cyber defense sphere. We must develop situational awareness, tactics, techniques, and procedures that enable all of us to defend our networks against transnational cyber threats to a common standard. The United States European Command International Cyber Engagement Program executes the command strategy for active security by preserving international cybersecurity postures. And some of the goals of our program are to provide and enhance our information assurance and cyber defense capabilities of the partner nation, to protect the integrity of the information and the information systems, to meet national defense requirements, to improve information sharing and interoperability, and to reduce cyber threats. Cyber Endeavor is USUCOM's collaboration and familiarization venue designed to strengthen partner nation cyber defense capacities. Cyber Endeavor has grown impressively. Not only do we have the event here at Graf and Veer simultaneously with combined Endeavor, but we also offer regional seminars throughout the year to continue to develop the cyber defense program. Cyber Endeavor gives us several outstanding opportunities. For some of the participating nations, it is to get fundamental skills in cyber defense. For others, it is to improve readiness of their forces against modern cyber threats. This kind of meetings uh, incorporate a lot of countries. Uh, it is some kind of open source meeting, but it is not uh, enough to be open to exchange information, but uh, to take active part to make a new strategies. In order to operate well together, we must be interoperable, but also trustworthy. And so that means we have to have sort of a common understanding of how people look at the risks that their information systems are subject to so that we can establish trustworthy connections. We leverage and integrate the National Guard Bureau State Partnership Program to augment and supplement our program. Because the states have these partners and the partnership that we've created, they thought that uh, it would be good to bring the National Guard over to assist in training um, these states because they're receptive to the National Guard already working with them. Pretty much every organization that's within our military uses cyber in some way, and you have to defend that capability or else it's going to degrade our, our capability to, for the warfighter. Cyber defense is a global challenge. We need cooperation with the private sector, with government agencies, academia, and most certainly with coalition partners. In a coalition network, you may have 10 or 20 member nations. You're only as strong as your weakest link. And so if you haven't invested in a smaller coalition partner, um, that's your weakest link potentially. When you're dealing in a coalition environment, it's extremely important that you have a common operating picture, that you understand each other. So it's very important that everybody understands what a common picture would be on defense, a common picture would be on security, how we expect our systems to be secured. As you know, in our days, we come across with uh, cyber attacks every day, every year, and uh, here we can learn how to defeat these attacks and how to protect ourselves. It's very important, I think, most important things nowadays. The whole point of it is it, it doesn't stop at you know, one person's borders. What one country sees may be going on in the very next country, and if those two can work together and help each other and fill in the missing pieces, it, uh, it may lead to stopping, stopping attacks and also finding out who's responsible for it.